Hey, it's Spoonie, and now that we have a lot more information about what to expect from Kitten Space Agency, I have been thinking a lot about the features that have not been mentioned yet that I hope to see when the game finally comes out. I'm going to put these in reverse order, starting with number five and working our way down to number one, the thing I personally hope to see the most that has not been mentioned or implemented yet. And if you somehow don't know by now, Kitten Space Agency is the spiritual successor to Kerbal Space Program after the disastrous launch of Kerbal Space Program 2. The studio that was working on Kerbal Space Program 2 was shut down, and a team led by Dean Hall over at Rocketworks has been spun up to pick up the torch and carry on the mission of creating the next great space exploration game. This team includes talented modders from the KSP community like Black Rack, who also briefly worked on KSP2 over at Intercept Games, as well as the creator of Kerbal Space Program itself, Harvester. This team has made a ton of progress since the project was first announced in November of 2024, and if you want to find out more about what they have been up to, be sure to check out my playlist with monthly updates that are short and easy to digest. And also be sure to subscribe so that we can follow along with the development of KSA and other tons of great games together. So before we start, multiplayer is not on this list. I wouldn't call multiplayer a top 5 wishlist item for me. And besides that, it has already been discussed and is a feature that is definitely being implemented, so it's absent from this list for a few different reasons. Primarily though, for me personally, multiplayer just wasn't something I felt KSP was missing or needed. KSP was always a solo journey for me, and I was totally fine with that. I get that others have a very different opinion though, and that multiplayer was one of the features they were looking forward to the most from KSP. I'm just not one of them. I'm glad they are including it though, and maybe after playing it with some friends, I'll change my mind, but we'll just have to wait and see. But with that, let's talk about number five, colonies. This one is a bit nuanced for me. Uh, if they exist solely for the sake of existing, then I personally don't see what colonies add aside from some role-playing features. But if they are given a purpose, I'd like to see colonies in the game. That is a purpose beyond just send X number of kittens or Kerbals to Mars and receive Y science. Uh, that just seems like a glorified fetch quest that doesn't serve a real function or add to the experience of the game. So how would I like to see colonies implemented? Let's say you extract a resource from Mars or some other interstellar location like an asteroid or some moon. But in order to do so without physically being there, you'd have to have a population of certain types of astronauts, maybe three engineers, four scientists, six mechanics. I mean, those are just arbitrary numbers and roles, but you kind of get the idea. So once your colonies are fully staffed, they would be able to produce a resource so you could extract fuel, science. I think there is a ton that you can do with colonies within the modding community as well. I think of some of my own favorite mods from KSP, and when I'm in the mood for a challenge, I really like to play with life support mods. Adding in the additional challenge of life support needs for colonies is something I would probably do as soon as I had the opportunity, uh, which leads me into number four, resource extraction. This is pretty self-explanatory. I would like to see the game have some sort of system for resource extraction. Much like we saw in the later years of Kerbal Space Program, this obviously plays directly into colonies as well and how they would function, but it isn't something that would necessarily need colonies in order to work within the game. After all, Kerbal Space Program had resource extraction without the need for a full-blown colony, although I would obviously prefer these two things to go hand in hand. Resource extraction along with an already larger star system to explore would allow for a lot more diversity in ship design and systems, being able to launch a ship to one of Jupiter's moons before refueling and traveling onto Pluto just sounds really fun, at least to me. Not to mention it would add a whole new challenge of getting things set up with fuel in orbit, giving you a reason to dock with the refueling ship or space station, and then launching from there. I always like to find excuses to dock my ships with orbital stations or other ships, so having more reasons to do that is something I would always welcome. All of that alone would be fun and a great number four, but I actually have a second part of resource extraction that I would really like to see, and that is the need for material processing and refinement. Materials that could be necessary for certain ship parts, meaning you would have to find asteroids, moons, or planets with that specific material, and then transport it back to your shipyards before you could construct certain ship components, experiments, engines, whatever. Assuming there is interstellar travel, this would mean that while you could brute force your way out of the system with early tech, the later more efficient engines or ship parts would require that you have visited several asteroids and planets and moons to collect enough of those various resources to build the parts that you'd need for a ship that's capable of actually getting there, at least efficiently, and then maybe even back. But you know. <laughs> The return trip is usually optional, at least for me. I just really like the idea of having reasons to actually get out and explore the system. Having an actual reason to send a ship with probes that arrives at Saturn and then launches out those probes to survey the various moons in search of resources just sounds like a lot of fun. And I would love to see the creations people come up with to pull off these kinds of missions. 
All kinds of vessels become necessary for this. From exploration to survey to mining, transport, this second part is probably not a crowd favorite, but it's also something that could very easily be toggled on and off. And if it's not included in the game, which it probably won't be in vanilla, I'm really looking forward to the possibility of a mod that functions similarly to what I have just described here. If you can't tell, I prefer when games make things as difficult as possible for me. Uh, what can I say? So on to number three, programming. This is in the same vein as making the game almost needlessly complex, but hear me out for a second. With resources and colonies, you would really want a way to automate the transportation of these materials up into orbit or stations for refueling or to await transport and then ultimately transported to your shipyards. This is a feature that was discussed, albeit tenuously, during some of the interviews with the studio working on Kerbal Space Program 2 before it was shut down. So what exactly would programming look like? Well, the Kerbal Space Program 2 development team envisioned a system wherein you could fly a particular route with a ship, and if successful, you could tell that ship to follow the same route in the future. So you could have a ship deliver something and that route would then be based on how long it took you to complete and how much fuel it took. If you take six months to deliver X amount of ore and then return to the station you launched from, then you are going to be getting X amount of ore every six months and require the same amount of fuel and so on. I think this is a great way to handle this and it's probably the simplest for setting up several delivery routes with various colonies, but I would honestly like to see this taken even one step further. I would like to see behaviors be programmable for various ships and rovers. I think this could be as simple as a Boolean system that could function with a little bit of practice and a few tutorials, but could also be expanded by those who wanted to get even more intricate with what they want to accomplish. Like small automated rover probes that traverse a planet's surface conducting experiments every so often when they happen to enter a new biome, or a satellite that will scan every few minutes and then change its orbit slightly and scan again until the entire body or asteroid is completely surveyed. Obviously, this part of the game would kind of be optional, as it always was, but in the vein of education, this would expose a lot of people to some basic rudimentary programming, and for those who try to do more, could very well ultimately spark an interest in learning how to actually program. There are several games that include these kinds of systems. My channel started with a series of Starbase tutorials on how to use the in-game system of basic coding that they called YOLOL. Like I said, this is just a wish list, so I don't really expect to see this second part, but I would definitely like to see what the KSP2 developers had planned for basically ghosting in routes for deliveries. All right, so number two, orbital shipyards. Basically, I want to build stuff in space, especially for interstellar ships. I would really like to see some modular components that are heavy that could be launched into space and expanded upon as you further progress. So at first, maybe your orbital shipyards can handle probes, but if you want to really build a large interstellar craft, you are going to have to launch a lot of components up, dock them, construct them with EVAs, and then ensure you have sufficient fuel storage on that shipyard to launch your craft. This would require a lot of launches. And again, I like this because it gives you additional challenges and reasons to practice docking and visiting other planets. If you want an orbital shipyard around an interstellar system, for example, that would be a massive undertaking. One that would ultimately require probably several colonies to ensure fuel and resource availability for construction and missions. And you would need to send out a lot of kittens in order to actually run all of those components and colonies. So it would give you a reason to launch a lot of missions. That is, at least if several parts of my wish list all come true and work together like I've described, which is a big task on an already complicated game that is in a lot of ways quite literally rocket science. So, yeah. And for anything that isn't a part of the vanilla experience, I am sure that there will be tons of really fun mods to close some of these gaps over time. But one thing has to be true if any of this is going to happen. And it is the number one thing I hope to see when KSA finally launches, and that is interstellar travel. I want to be able to leave the starting system and explore new systems that take a tremendous effort to reach. If nothing else from this list even comes close to being reality, I really, really hope that interstellar travel is part of the game. And like I said, mods can pick up the slack for just about all of this, even including interstellar travel, I guess. But I would really like to see this be a core tenant of the game. It's one of the things I felt was missing from KSB. It's the thing that would have added a true late game experience. Setting up comms networks for interstellar travel would be extremely difficult, and the delay challenges for probes would have been really satisfying to overcome. At least that's my opinion. I obviously have a ton of things I'd really like to see if I had some game development genie that could just grant me wishes based on my video game ideas, uh, but I haven't found one. Yet. Let me know what the number one feature you're hoping to see in Kitten Space Agency is down in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe for monthly updates on KSA development. Thanks for watching.